dangerous. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We are here, sort of on Naruto Storm Connections, but also not because, as you can see, I am on the Bandai Namco website right now. This is just a continuation from my last video because my ass was running late for work. And in case you're wondering, I just got there in time. So for this part of the video, I saw that there was a lot of changes to the characters in this game. And I sort of want to go through them with you guys because I, I have not looked at this. Also, just to make the video a bit less boring, I will probably show the changes on the plain side of the screen. Naruto Uzumaki Sage of Six Paths, Ninja 2-1. Tilt Beast Bomb Rasen Shuriken made the recovery slower when using it as a support. This is just nothing Naruto support. Tilt Beast Bomb Rasen Shuriken, which personally I'm happy about because I swear in my last Naruto Storm video I was coming up against a guy who used Tilt Beast Bomb Rasen Shuriken Naruto and that motherfucker was hitting me every single time. Naruto Uzumaki Kurama Link Mode, who in my opinion is the least used Naruto in this game. The only time people would use this Naruto is when they are planning to win by using his awakening. His base form sucks but the Kurama awakening from this Naruto is actually broken. It's, it's ridiculous. They've increased his defense. That's not really a big issue to be honest because nobody uses this man. Second intro to Tailed Beast Bomb. Reduced the amount of chakra needed to use it. Made the recovery speed slower using it as a support and increased its damage. So this is like some sort of equilibrium they're trying to create here. They've pretty much made him a better main character. They're trying to encourage people to actually pick this character to use him as, you know, the go-to guy. Not just as a support character, not just on the back lines. Naruto Uzumaki Sage Mode. I just read these two bullet points in my mind and I'm happy as fuck. Sage Mode Naruto is a Naruto that I do actually use. They've made his throwing speed faster. God damn. That's a very interesting change because it has a decent range in my opinion. And the fact that they've made it faster, ooh, I'm about to be swan diving on these bitches. They've also made the recovery speed of his chakra charge faster. I don't think I've ever seen a change like that for them to increase a specific character's chakra charge. But I'm all for it because I do think Sage Mode Naruto is pretty slow. He's not the fastest character in the game. His combos are slow, so it's not as easy to land damage if you're not using tanks. Double Sharingan Kakashi made the recovery speed slower when he's being used as a support. This is definitely needed. So this is a good change. Slowing it down reduces how overpowering, how overwhelming it is. Shikamaru Nara, Ninja 2 Explosive Parachute. Thank God! Thank you! I am glad they are nothing this. Within the last patch, Shikamaru's stocks have gone up. He's just being used everywhere. Which sort of pissed me off because I'm someone who mains Shikamaru. I've been using Shikamaru since Storm 4. So when I saw people just started picking him out of nowhere, I sort of felt disgusted. It's just one of those things that make your eye twitch. Damn, they gave Kiba the boot. They were like, we're nothing this and this and this and this. All round nerf, his ground combos nerfed, his aerial combos nerfed, his jutsu's nerfed. You have nobody else to blame that on other than the people who are picking him and spamming. Nata Hyuga, 8 trigrams air palm, made the recovery. Okay, so what I'm seeing from a lot of these characters is that they are getting slowed down when it comes to their recovery as a support. I see what Cyber Connect 2 are going with here. They are trying to make the gameplay be less overwhelming and reliant on supports. I like that. As for Shisui, they've also reduced the damage of Rose. Wait, why are they reducing Shishi's throw? Oh, hold on, let me finish the sentence. Reduce the damage of throws and change the effect after successfully landing this attack on an opponent to bounce. Ah, oh, okay. See, this is why I need to finish my sentence before coming to these conclusions. The reason why they've reduced the damage of his throws is because you can now follow up from that throw. Any attack that gets changed to allow follow up attacks is a buff in my opinion, no matter what else they do. Minato Namikaze, reduce the damage of throws. I'm guessing this is the normal Minato since it doesn't say reanimation. And I get that because his throw is pretty good. Minato has a long range throw, it's easily usable, you can do grab loops with it, so yeah. I can understand why they've nerfed that. Minato mains won't be happy though. It is what it is. Kabuto Yakushi, the snake cape. Oh god, okay. Now, this is the Kabuto that I use. This is the Kabuto I, that I like to use the most. And they've buffed his dead soul jutsu by reducing the amount of chakra needed 
to activate it. However, they've nerfed his second jutsu by making the recovery speed slower when using it as a support. I can't even lie. This Kabuto has gotten away with it. He has gone under the radar when it comes to that Venomous Fog Jutsu. Uh, I do use this Kabuto and when I do use him, I, I use him as a main character. Honestly, that Venomous Fog Jutsu is strong in my opinion. Not only does it poison your opponent, it covers a decent radius in front of Kabuto and on top of that you can follow up your attacks from it. As for Jugo, Living Wall Fist Style 1 increase the damage. That's fair, that's a straightforward jutsu, it goes in a straight line, it's parallel, easy to dodge, so I guess the reward should be higher if you do land it. Also increase the damage of aerial combos. Oh god, this Jugo is getting buffed! He is getting those green arrows upward! That last line is actually funny though. This makes it impossible for opponents to get away using ninja moves while guarding. You're saying people could escape Jugo mid combo if they're blocking with a ninja move. That's crazy. I can see why people didn't use him. That is, that is fucked up. Yagura, Rising Coral Ripples made it possible to perform ninjutsu blocks. Oh nice, that's actually a nice buff. The 4th Kazekage, Gold Dust Waterfall Flow, made the recovery speed slower when using it as a support. I hope Ninjutsu 1 is that Jutsu that has these flying lingering at projectiles. That Ninjutsu is a problem, especially as a support. As for Hanzo, oh nice, they've reduced his defense and for his second Ninjutsu, Summoning Ibuse, made Ibuse's summoning time slower, perfect, made the dash cancelling timing slower, perfect and increase the opening created after the attack. This is good, Hanzo needed a nerf to be honest, especially that damn salamander of his. Fuck that salamander! Naruto Uzumaki PTS version Ninjutsu Demon Wind Bomb reduced the amount of chakra needed to activate it and made the recovery speed slower when using it as a support. Okay, this is good. This Naruto specifically is normally used as a support because his Demon Wind Bomb is pretty good, it can make you sub in place and it's easy for landing combos into ultimate jutsus just because of how long it goes on for. Then reducing the amount of chakra needed to use it is just trying to again encourage people to use him as a main character. The issue with this though is that people can just easily do the jutsu with him as the main character capitalizing off of this chakra reduction and then just switching out immediately. Sasuke Uchiha Firestyle Phoenix Flower Jutsu reduce the damage, fair enough. That that jutsu is a pretty good jutsu, it has nice tracking. Then the part 1 Sasuke Phoenix Firestyle Jutsu, the same jutsu but different changes. Reduce the amount of chakra needed to activate it but increased the damage and made the recovery speed faster when using it as a support. That's a very interesting change so why did they nerf this jutsu on one Sasuke but then buffed it on the other Sasuke? As for Shikamaru, again his explosive parachute made the recovery speed slower when using it as a support because you damn people online were abusing it! You see how I'm getting collateral damage because other people were deciding to abuse this jutsu? Man I'm pissed! Ino Yamanaka Part 1 Ninjutsu Cherry Blossom Dance made it possible to perform ninjutsu blocks so you can now use this jutsu to I guess cancel out a fire style jutsu or something. Shino Aburame I know that Shino isn't as strong as he once was when the game was first released but damn is he an annoying character. He also nerfed his ninjutsu 1 and his second jutsu. Let's see okay up next we have Gara. Decrease the damage of the ground level combos and the damage of the aerial combos. I think, okay, this Gara part 1, he, I don't think he was a super strong character but he was a good character. Temari part 1, Gust Dance, reduced the amount of chakra needed to activate it and made it possible to rebound if hit in the later stage of this move. This first part of the sentence pisses me off, why the hell have they buffed jutsu that constantly makes you sub in place? You know, I don't mind them buffing the jutsu. I just hate the fact that they have not nerfed it as a support. That is the main issue with this Temari. It's the fact that people use her mainly as a support and they like to abuse the Gust Dance. As for Hot Girl Haku, make the ground level combos faster and increase the duration of the stunning effect after successfully landing the attacks. Okay, a Haku buff, cool. Hinata Uzumaki nerfed as a support, Shikamaru again nerfed as a support, Ino Yamanaka the same changes as the other Ino. Oh nice, Ishiki Otsutsuki made the throwing speed slower and reduced the damage. 
<laughs> about damn time. I am hoping that they fix the back hit issue that comes with his melee jutsu. And for Boro, wow. Only one bullet point for Big Boss Boro. And that is made the recovery speed slower when using it as a support for viral dispersion. Which, you know what, that isn't bad. Viral dispersion is an annoying jutsu to deal with. You also get back hit a lot by that jutsu and I'm pretty sure it still has some sense of super armor. Boro sort of escaped it hey. He sort of got away with it. But hey, with that we are finally done with the character adjustments. Woo! Future patch updates are planned for more upcoming ninja battles as well as bug fixes and additional DLC packs. Hmm, interesting they've said packs, even though there's only one more DLC left. Anyways, that's about it for these patch notes. Um, Low key I sort of regret doing this because I did not realise it was going to take me this much of talking. Damn! Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like if you did. What do you think about these patch notes? I think the overall aim of CyberConnect you were going for here was just to reduce the power that supports have to influence a game or a match overall. So it, these patches aren't bad in my opinion but I would only truly know when I play the game. For now, I shall ride off into the sunset with, you know what, CyberConnect2 can come again. <laughs> <laughs>